The disciplinary trial for Daniel Pantaleo starts today. Pantaleo is the NYPD officer who's accused of putting Eric Garner in a banned chokehold during a 2014 arrest. That chokehold ultimately led to Garner's death. RT's Trinity Chavez is in Lower Manhattan with more details to this. Uh, so, Trinity, what kind of charges is Pantaleo facing? Well, it's important to know that today's hearing, it is not criminal proceedings. Now, today's trial will attempt to settle whether or not Pantaleo violated department rules and if his actions as of a suspected chokehold actually qualified uh, would have risen to criminal charges. Now, Pantaleo faces charges of reckless use of a chokehold and intentional restriction of breathing. However, if found guilty, he would not seek, he would not even get any jail time. And that's because, you know, as I said, we, this is not a criminal proceeding. Now, if he was found guilty, he would, uh, the judge would determine if he would lose vacation time or if he would be terminated together. Now, remember, since the Justice Department had declined to pursue a civil rights uh, case against Pantaleo, he just remained on desk duty since the incident. But again, if the judge finds that he violated any of these rules by the department, he could lose his job. Now, people are saying that that is long overdue. Many of the people and the supporters who were here today to show support for Eric Garner's mother believes that he should have lost his job way, you know, as soon as this incident yeah. had happened. But the judge decision will then go to com Police Commissioner James O'Neill, and then it'll, you know, Commissioner would decide if he is, in fact, going to lose his job or not. Manila? So Trinity, what, what's the feeling like on the ground? I know you spoke with the family before, and then ultimately, you know, Eric Garner's daughter, she also died. So there's a lot of tragedies surrounding this family. So what's the sentiment? What's the feeling there? Well, I mean, as you can imagine, many people are still outraged, especially Eric Garner's mother. Now, this is the day after Mother's Day. So to be, be put through all of this and see this trial, Pantaleo, over and over, you know, in the video recordings today at the hearing, she was seeing the cell phone video that captured the strangulation of, well, the chokehold of her son. Can you imagine how painful that must have been, especially the day after Mother's Day? A lot of his family was here, as well as friends and other advocates, as you can see, behind me. They are over here showing support. Uh, you know, they are extremely disappointed in how law enforcement has handled the situation since day one. They were over here gathering, chanting all day, uh, showing their support for the family. And you know what? Al Sharpton even took a minute to spoke today uh, when they had a brief break during the hearing. And here's what he had to say. For five years, his family has had to endure this pain. As I sat there next to Ms. Carr and her daughter, and had, we had to take them out twice, seeing that film, Pantaleo is not the only one on trial. The city of New York Police Department is on trial. Will you allow someone to stay within the police ranks that is on film choking a man, and it has been stated that caused his death? That's the only question left. And I think it is disgraceful that they have not been held accountable. But these are just tears from heaven. Eric is crying from heaven because he, he sees his mother and his family out here still trying to fight for justice for him. It's been five years. Five years we've been on the front line trying to get justice, and they're still trying to sweep it under the rug. As Lord has said, they only have one officer on the agenda. Now, as you could hear, many people still upset here and all over the country, really. And even the Police Reform Organizing Project says in a statement, the NYPD trial of Dan Pantaleo is a part of a sham process. Police investigating police is not credible. Perceived institutional interests will virtually always trump the merits of the case. Now, one thing is for sure, many people who were here showing their support for the Garner family, friends, and other advocates just hope that today will be a small step into seeing some kind of justice. Manila? Certainly a whole lot of emotion there. You can see it from his mother still hurting five years later. Uh, Trinity Chavez, thank you for filing that report. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.